Hi, thanks for watching the movie trailer about women in the front seat. For years I've been watching the number of women riders grow and going out to find them, ride with them, and hear their stories. I can remember very specific times of just little girls in Latin America getting so excited that I was a woman doing it. As soon as I was on the back of a bike with a woman driving in the seat, I was like, I can do this. Before I was young, I thought it was cute to be on the back. Huh. It's way more fun in the driver's seat. I love the wind, the sound of the engine. I have two GPSs, my hydration jugs, an auxiliary fuel tank. So you can do upwards of 450 miles in a sitting. I ride because it feeds my soul. It's getting awesomer every day. I ride motorcycles with a bunch of badass babes. <laughs> We're the Piston Nannies, and it's a group of about 13 girls now. It's called Bikes and Mics because every one of our riders has a voice. When I first learned to ride a motorcycle, I suddenly had a community. We all have the same problems, and we lift each other up. I found my tribe, and I'm home. Everybody's got a story about breaking down in the middle of nowhere or being stuck in crappy weather. There's some times where I'm like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to get on the highway. If you get in a car accident, you get back in a car. Then you feel proud of yourself, and that's no one but you. Motorcycling by myself gave me back my independence. I think it's our responsibility to constantly be pushing ourselves, to find it out where that boundary is, and like, take that next little step. I can do this. Synopsis. Women in the front seat captures the growing movement of women hitting the throttle and riding into the wind, breaking social norms and shattering stereotypes about women and women riders. The filmmaker herself accomplished this as part of a transformative solo cross-country quest she undertook, riding her Indian Scout motorcycle. During that journey, Saini challenges her own fears, facing harsh weather conditions, exhaustion, and an existential existential crisis as she seeks to discover who these women are, one fascinating personal story after another. I ride because it feeds my soul. It's getting awesomer every day. I ride motorcycles with a bunch of badass babes. <laughs> We're the Piston Annies, and it's a group of about 13 girls now. It's called Bikes and Mics because every one of our riders has a voice. When I first learned to ride a motorcycle, I suddenly had a community. We all have the same problems, and we lift each other up. I found my tribe, and I'm home. Everybody's got a story about breaking down in the middle of nowhere or being stuck in crappy weather. There's some times where I'm like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to get on the highway. If you get in a car accident, you get back in a car. Then you feel proud of yourself, and that's no one but you. Motorcycling by myself gave me back my independence. I think it's our responsibility to constantly be pushing ourselves, to find it out where that boundary is, and like take that next little step. I can do this.